the seven year tribulation, the seven most darkest years in all of human history are seconds away from happening and people do nothing but mock, but reject and just make memes of Christianity and make memes of Jesus and want to just discredit him and rebuttal. And just like 2 Timothy chapter 3, they're always learning and learning and learning about all of this different stuff and alignment and all of this nonsense. And they are never able to come unto the knowledge of the truth, which is in Jesus Christ alone. And so they're going to be left behind. And they're going to have to endure the seven most darkest years in all of human history. And I guarantee you, not one single person is going to be making one damn meme about it, how serious it is, how dark it is, how gruesome it is, how horrible it is, how filled with fear the hearts of men are going to be, it is going to fail them. It says in the scriptures that men's hearts are going to fail them for fear on the things that are coming on the earth. And I'm telling you right now, you had all of this time to accept Jesus. You had all of this time to give your life to him. You had all of this time to just simply receive the free gift of eternal salvation that Jesus freely offered you that we preached to you time and time and time and time and time again and you rejected, 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 rejected. And so when you're left behind and you're not caught up at the sound of the trumpet and we who are genuine believers in Jesus, not the fake false converts, but the real genuine born again ones are caught up in the air with them and in the twinkling of an eye, you're going to be left here to deal with the fruit of your own choices. And it's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be an ice cream and cookies and little candy land party, dude. It's going to be the most horrific time in your life and I hope to know that at that time that maybe you will actually see the fruit of your choices and even then God gives you the grace to repent and to come to him and to receive his free gift of salvation because it's still on the table even during those seven years except for one condition if you happen to receive the mark of the beast and to worship the image of the Antichrist. If you end up doing that, that's it. You're done. It's a done deal, bro. That's eternal flames for you and there's no going back on that. But besides that, repentance and being able to receive the free gift of salvation of Jesus Christ, dude, it's still on the table. It's here now and it's even going to be here during the seven years, but you don't want to receive it during that seven year tribulation period, man, because it's not going to be no joke. It's not going to be, you are going to be tested and you are going to be killed for your faith in Christ if you decide to repent even during that time. And no Nobody wants that for you. Yeah, I promise you, man, you guys are not going to be making memes about this stuff when it goes down, man. There's not going to be no internet access. There's not going to be no easily accessible food. There's not going to be no... The war is going to... It's going to be the most horrific, dark time. Horrible, dude. You couldn't even imagine how dark it's going to be. You don't want to be here for that. You don't want to be here for that, dude. Jesus is still on... The